to today's session. So we continue looking at the 2021 grade 12 GCE mathematics paper one. So today we are looking at question 13 and 14. So question 13 leads in the diagram below A, B, C and D are points on the circumference of a circle center O. D, A, B is equal to 36 degrees. B, C is equal to C, D and E, B, F is a tangent to the circle at B. Find angle B or B. Find angle A. Find angle B, C, D angle C, B, F and that's for max. So basically this is from circle theorem. So for last to answer this question quickly, let me just try to uh, explain some few principles as I will be answering. So let us move to, let me just zoom this uh, diagram that we've been given. So if you look at this diagram, what we know is we can use the angle at the center theorem. We know that the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. So what we know is we can easily find this angle here. Okay, we can easily find this angle which is uh, 36 multiplied by 2 which should be 72. So we have 72 there. So having found that that's 72, if you know that that's 72, we can easily find the angle here by saying this angle at the center, this angle is half the angle uh, there. So if this angle is 72, then the other side of the angle, it will be just basically 360 minus 72. So in say 360 minus 72, we end up with basically 288. So half of 288 should be the angle at C. So 288 divided by 2, we are getting basically 144. 144. So this angle should be 144 degrees. Okay. So having found that, we can easily find uh, this uh, this angle here and this angle. So because uh, the sum of these angles should be uh, give us 380 or 360. Sorry, 360. So we know that if you had 72 and 144, we can uh, know what we can get. So uh, 144. So 144 plus basically. Uh, 78 and this you know this this angle here here this angle y and these are the same because these sides are equal and these are radius they are all equal so these two angles should be the same so basically what that tells me is it tells me that if I had 144 what I know plus 78 plus 2y I should get 360 degrees then having found that I had 144 and 78, I'll get basically 78 plus uh, 7, 8 plus 4 is 2. I'll remember 1, 4 plus 7 is 11 plus 1, 12, remember 1, then 1 to 222 plus 2y is equal to basically 360. Dividing by 2 throughout, remember calculators are not allowed, so use, simplify as much as you can to make it easier. So it's 111 divided by 2, then y is equal to 180. So what this tells me is y is equal to basically 180 minus 111. So y is equal to basically uh, uh, basically 69. So 69. So basically y, this angle, is basically 69 degrees and this angle is basically 69 degrees. Okay. Then let us look first of all the thing that will be asked because we've answered the number of things already. So let us see the thing that we've answered. So B O D, B O D. So this angle, which is 72, so this is 72, already done, 72 degrees, no problem. Then B C D, B C D angle, B C D. We've already found it's 144, you see how quick it is, 144 degrees. Then C B F, C B F. So it's basically this angle, you see? This angle that they are asking us to find this angle. So, if this is a tangent, if this is if EBF is a tangent and this is a radius, so this all angle here is 90 degrees, and we know what y is. We know what y is. Y is basically 69. So to find this angle which is missing here, we shall call it x. So it shall it shall just be x plus 
what we know 69 is equal to 90 degrees because the entire angle there is 90 degrees the radius and the, the tangent they meet at 90 degrees so therefore x is equal to 90 minus 69 90 minus 69 which is basically nothing other than uh, basically uh, 21 degrees so this one is 21 degrees this one is 144 so basically this is how quick you can answer this kind of a question so let us move to question number 14 so question number 14 uh, is basically leading a the diagram shows two lines l and d and uh, n that are perpendicular to each other the equation of the line n is 3x plus 2y is equal to 6 the line l passes through the point 5 comma 4 find the equation of l okay so we've been given equation uh, n and this they meet at perpendicular so if they meet at perpendicular they meet at 90 degrees they have inverse gradients that's what is key so if that's the case what it means is Gradient of m, m1, multiplied by m2, we should get a negative 1. Then from this equation, equation n, which is 3x plus 2y is equal to 6, we can find what the gradient is. So we have 2y is equal to, this crosses the equal sign, becomes a negative, so we have negative 3x plus 6. Okay, then we divide by 2, we divide by 2, we divide by 2, so y is equal to basically negative 3 over 2 x plus 3 or negative 1.5 so i'll rather leave it as negative uh negative 3 over 2 for now because i'll need to use it quickly instead of i should start dealing with 1.5 so having found that we can easily find m2 so this is m1 so the in this case m1 the gradient in this case is negative 3 over 2 so having found m1 we can find m2 so m2 is equal to now uh, negative 1 divide by m1 so we are dividing both sides by m1 so that we remain with m2 so a gradient for line 2 which is perpendicular will be negative 1 divide by that's why i needed to leave it as negative 3 over 2 which becomes negative 1 multiply then we have negative 2 on top then over 3 so which gives us 2 over 3 as the gradient of a perpendicular line so now having found the gradient, the gradient of the perpendicular line, we can use this general formula of n straight line equation plus c, where y is a dependent variable, then m is a gradient. So we know what m is, is 2 over 3. So we have y is equal to 2 over 3, okay, 2 over 3, x plus c. Now they are passing at the point. What's the point they are passing? It's 5, 5 comma 4. So what we know is in this case y is 4, then is equal to 2 over 3, what is x? x is 5, then plus c. Okay, then we have 4 is equal to, so 10 over 3 plus c. Okay, 10 over 3 plus c is basically, then I can use this space which is here so that we are able to see clearly, then I solve for c. So what I get is basically 4 minus, when this one crosses the equal sign, it becomes a negative. So minus 10 over 3 is equal to C. So I solve for C. So I have a 3. So it's a 12 minus, 1 into 3 is 3 times 4 is a 12. 12 minus 3 into 3 is a 1 times 10 is a 10. So I, I get basically uh, 2 over 3 as C. 2 over 3 as my C. Okay? 2 over 3 as my C. So now having found what C is, we can easily find the equation. So y is equal to basically, uh, we have 2 over 3 x plus 2 over 3. So this is the equation of L. Okay, so let us move to part B, question 14, part B. So question 14 part B says, the diagram below shows the triangle ABC in which AB is equal to 5 cm, AC is equal to 13 cm. Angle ABC is equal to 90 degrees and BC is produced to D. Find the value of cos ACD. Okay, 
A, C, D. So remember, Sokatoa. So this is a right angle triangle Sokatoa we have sign is equal to opposite over theta or over hypotenuse. Then cos is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. Then tangent tan is equal to opposite over adjacent. So in this case, we are using cos. So the angle they are asking us to find is this one. So for us to know that angle, first of all, we need to know this angle. Okay, okay. We, need, we can find this angle. And this angle, this is the opposite. Then this is the adjacent. And this is the hypotenuse. So for us to do that, let us find adjacent. So adjacent, to find adjacent, we use the Pythagorean theorem. Pythagorean theorem. Where we know the longest side, which is this one, the B. So B square is equal to... Uh, in this case, we have C and A. So we're looking for A, which is opposite to angle A. So A square plus C square. So we're looking for A square. So A square is equal to basically B square minus C square. So B square is 13. We square it minus 5 square. So we get 169 minus 25, which is basically 144. Then to find B, we find the square root, the distance is a positive, so they can only have one number, not a negative. The distance cannot be a negative, so B is equal to basically the square root of 144, which is a 12. So now, since we found a 12, having found a 12, we can easily now use the, 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 the cost. So this is a 12 centimeter. So we know what cost is. So now in this case, uh, cos theta, in this case, cos this angle. So we're looking for cos A, if you call this angle theta, so cos theta cos A, C, B is equal to uh, basically uh, the opposite, the adjacent of this angle is 12 centimeter over hypotenuse, which is 13. Now, to find the angle the other side, the other side, so to, if we were to find this angle, this angle theta is basically OB uh, cos inverse 1 over 12 over 13 but we are looking for this side this angle which is the side so the angle opposite to this under 180 degrees you see the negative of that that tri trigonometric uh, function is found on the the other quadrant this is the first quadrant then this side it will be in the third quadrant that's why it's a negative so we're looking for the the quadrant in which cos is negative. So cos is negative in quadrant. Uh, remember, all students take chemistry. So cos is positive in the th in the fourth and the the, the the first. So we are looking for the 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 third, the third and the second. So in this one. So that's why to find this one, it becomes now cos. So cos. A, C, D will be the normal cos, which is positive. So now it becomes negative 12 over 13. So we are saying we are looking for where cos is negative. So cos is negative in the second quadrant and the third. So in this case, because this is a triangle and this angle cannot be more than 180, so it can't be in the third. It cannot be in the second. So in this second, that's why we are introducing the negative sign here. So basically, this is the answer on party uh, B of 14.